What is up guys? This is Ethan here back at Worldwide RV and today is the start of a new series. I'm going to be going through all the nitty gritty and small things you should be looking for while looking for a new motorhome or travel trailer. Today we're talking about water heaters so let's go ahead and get started. When it comes to water heaters you really only have two choices. There's tankless or tank water heaters and for 99% of the people that buy a travel trailer we're going to recommend tankless. And that's why for 2024, Jayco chose only to go with tankless water heaters. And let me explain to you why. This is a tankless water heater. It's oftentimes located towards the rear end of your travel trailer. And the main advantage with tankless over tank is you're gonna be not having to take military showers or Navy showers. You know where you hop in, have to turn the water off and make your whole shower three minutes long. Yeah, we're trying to stay away from that. Or even if you have kids, you don't want to waste hot water in the first 10 minutes. So that's why we chose to go with the tankless for 2024. Now, if tankless water heaters are so good, why get a tank water heater? Well, it does have some advantages. The main one being lag time. At least that's what I call it. It's from when you turn the faucet on, how long does your water take to heat up? In a tank water heater, you don't have that issue. It's just going to heat up. Whereas in tankless, you might have to wait 10, maybe 15 seconds. Now, this is a comparison video, and there is positive and negative to both. Even though most of the time we much prefer the tankless water heaters, I'm going to give you some positives and negatives of both tankless and tank water heaters. When it comes to tankless water heaters, there's a lot of advantages. Things like not having to wait for the next person to get out of the shower, and being limited on the time you're allowed to spend in the shower. As long as you have propane and water in your fresh tank, you'll be alright. That water will stay hot. So who should get a tankless and who should get a tank water heater? Well, for off-grid camping, I'm going to say tankless 100% of the time. This is going to give you a lot less worry about running out of water because you're not going to have to wait that two hours for the next person. Whereas if you're plugged in all the time and have an unlimited supply of water and propane, you don't have to worry about it. If you just get a tank water heater, you don't have the lag and you're always going to be good. But that's only if you're plugged in. In conclusion, there's reasons to get both, but think of it this way. If you're able to full time and live in your RV, go with the tank water heater. If you're not gonna be, you're gonna be a weekend warrior just taking it out for campsites, go ahead and get a tankless water heater. I promise you, those 10 minute showers are brutal, but when you're living at a campsite, you can get around that. And that concludes this video with Ethan from Worldwide RV. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call. Our number is 480-832-5600. Or you can visit our website, post through questions on there, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Website's going to be worldwiderv.com. Thank you guys. I appreciate you.